Michael Burton here with the Cube Art Project, and I'm talking with Adrian Regner today. Um, Adrian is a prolific artist with 31, I counted 31 animations, high quality animations on his website, uh, adrianregner.com. Uh, he's participated in 180 plus festivals, biennales, exhibitions worldwide. Um, and he, his latest VR play, uh, piece titled G uh, was just screened at the uh, 21st edition of the Guanajuato International Film Festival. Uh, Adrian's placed in our competition, the Cube Art Project, um, a few times and has agreed to jury our fourth, um, our fourth upcoming project now. So thanks, Adrian. Appreciate you being here and talking. One question I have for you to start off is, uh, I find your work endlessly fascinating um, and we've really enjoyed seeing it here on the Cube. Um, what I love is the mix of content and the various uh, production techniques that you use. So I'm wondering if you could talk a little bit about content, uh, specifically the themes of war and creation and the human condition that exist in your work. Okay, well, first of all, thank you. Uh, thank you, Cube Media and you, Michael. You could say that you could say it's, it, it is almost like a philosophical relationship with the production tools. They are not pixels, they are not, it, it is not a timeline of frames. They are more akin, akin to me, like very intimate relations with time and space and forms and concepts and basic principles. I forgot to mention that I intended to study physics uh, before I wanted to study animation. So that was also what gave my work an irrevocable link with, with, with science. It, it asks the question, what if? What if everything that we eventually name as drama and violence and tragedy inscribes us in a broader, yet to be defined universe? not to allow or permit those things, not to negate them, but perhaps to see how every act is ultimately interconnected with every other act. A and N from your La Fuga series are intentionally low fidelity and 8-bit compared to H and V, which are uh, much more 3D, highly polished pieces. Can you decide, tell us how you decide on which formats you use? I think that A and N are the highest resolution, if you would like, <laughs> pieces I have. I mean, what's purer than the vectorial notion of a square and a triangle, you know? <laughs> I, I deeply believe that uh, they are but graphical representations of minimal and fundamental orders. I mean, of course, it, they need to be implemented in a graphical interface. So there are a lot of visual references in our visual culture. My work, um, in, specifically in pieces like H and B and uh, Y, uh, they take from the ongoing narrative and customs of, of visual effects. And I hope they they allow the the, the viewer to reevaluate why these these realistic 3D models that may that we may see in, in action films or in or, or in YouTube videos and, and Vimeo shorts using the same tools for broadly different purposes serves as continues my critical overview on the tools then i'm glad more than glad to take uh, this load from your shoulders and rest assured that you will have it on time with love and good luck to the participants yeah well thank you i really appreciate you doing this i know it's a lot of work and i hope it uh, you know you feel like you're getting something out of this and not just to oh, get knowledge but you know some experience too so no. and once again thank you for trust trusting entirely on me <laughs> <laughs> all right this is your show